We're out here today playtesting the New Balance CT Rally. Let's go check them out. I've play tested many New Balance shoes over the years, so I was really excited when another one landed at my desk. And my initial first impressions when I tried them on at my desk, I felt that the upper was a little bit stiff for me. I was like, ooh, I might have a little bit of a break in. I thought the length was perfect. And I actually, for my narrow width feet, I thought I had a pretty glove-like feel. There wasn't a lot of extra weight anywhere within the shoe. Now, when I headed down on court, I was actually pleasantly surprised that it was a really short break in period and actually, the uppers kind of softened up and I kind of forgot about them within the first 10, 15 minutes of the hit. Now, when it came to cushioning, I thought New Balance did a really great job of getting really plush cushioning underneath the heel. There's a lot of cushioning under there and there's still a good amount coming towards the midfoot all the way to the forefoot. However, I did find that there was more cushioning in the heel than the forefoot, so I felt like it was kind of putting me up on my toes, which isn't a bad thing. Now, when it comes to support and stability, I tend to look for average or above average in both of those categories due to a previous ankle injury, and this shoe knocks those both out of the park. I didn't even have to use the last eyelid to tie my shoes. I felt my ankles were nice and secure, and as I mentioned earlier, there wasn't a lot of room, so my feet stayed nice within the shoe when I was moving around aggressively. Now, if I had one small knock for me is that I thought the toe box narrowed just slightly, especially my right foot, I need a little bit of extra room in that toe box, and so I was getting a little numbness or tingling feeling during the first half of the play test. I did alleviate some of that by just making the first two eyelets of the lacing system a little bit looser and that gave me a little bit more room. Overall though, I thought this was a great option for players looking for cushion, support, and stability. And I'm really excited to see what other color options they have. I always liked New Balance shoes because they do offer widths and with my wider feet, I did opt to go with the D width of the CT Rally and I found it nice and wide up front and so my feet were not squeezed and felt comfortable throughout the play test. When I first slipped these shoes on, I did think they were gonna require a bit of a break in. They felt a little bit firm and a little bit stiff, but I headed down to the court and I was really surprised how comfortable and responsive, and I really didn't need that break in I thought I was gonna need. I, that first hour was very comfortable from the first get go. I really enjoyed the responsiveness of the cushioning underfoot, and I felt that these shoes offered really good support and stability, I had no issues with uh, any slipping or sliding, so the traction was also excellent. For me, if there were one knock, is that they do run a little bit warm. These shoes aren't the most breathable. It's being the winter time, it really wasn't an issue for me, and you know, I always like to run around with an extra pair of socks in my bag or change my socks after I'm done playing anyway. So overall, these shoes offered a lot of great performance aspects. I'm really loving the support, stability, and overall comfort. I was a little hesitant to get this play test started as the previous Lob and Lob 2 were not my favorite shoes. I did have some severe comfort issues with that shoe. However, I can say delightfully, this CT Rally is an amazing shoe. They fix all the issues that I had previously, specifically the rubbing around the ankle bone. This shoe fit my feet so well. I'm wearing the B width, I have a medium width foot, I'm wearing my true size, and I feel comfortably snug inside this shoe, and nothing is rubbing, no break in time, I was so stoked to get on the court and it unlocked complete comfort. But as the other play testers said, super stable and supportive, plus a very durable shoe. This is one of those shoes that I found the longer I wore it, the softer it felt underfoot, but always responsive and one that I think is gonna last me for a long time. So I was really happy with this play test. This definitely is one of my favorite shoes of 2023. So I'm stoked on how well New Balance did fixing and updating this shoe and creating the CT Rally. Now let's go check in with our playtester in Georgia. Jofi, how did the playtest work out for you? Thanks, Michelle. If you're a player looking for a durable, stable, high-performance shoe, the New Balance CT Rally will be the perfect fit for you. When I first put the shoes on, right away I thought the cushioning was excellent. The fresh foam underneath my heel felt very responsive and I felt nicely cushioned all throughout the playtest. Unfortunately, I did feel like I needed quite a few hours of breaking time with this shoe. In the beginning, I felt like the shoe felt a bit too stiff for me, but as the playtest went on, it did loosen up a bit, so that part definitely got better. 
Another thing that stood out to me in the beginning of the playtest was just how sticky the outsole felt. So generally speaking, I prefer shoes that allow me to slide out of my shots a little bit, just a bit more give when it comes to outsole traction. So the shoe needed a few hours to allow me to do that and eventually traction became optimal. When it comes to durability, I barely saw anywhere on the outsole. Plus, I thought the six months durability warranty is a really cool feature of the shoe. The New Balance CT Rally does feel very stable, especially after I used the second eyelid option, which really locked my heels in nicely. Overall, I would say this is a great option if you're looking for a comfortable, durable, high performance shoe. Thanks for watching. For more information on this shoe or any others, please go check out Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe for tennis only.